Hi, my name is William Yao. I'm a otolaryngologist specializing in rhinology and anterior skull base surgery at McGovern Medical School at UT Health, affiliated with Memorial Hermann. The condition I'll be talking about is epiphora, uh, which is tearing, excessive tearing of the eyes. Uh, this is caused by nasal lacrimal duct obstruction, which is the uh, obstruction and stenosis of the lacrimal tubes, which helps drain the tear into your nose. Patients actually notice excessive tearing, um, which is known as epiphora. Uh, when this occurs, um, it could lead to blurred vision, um, difficulty um, with their daily lives given that the patients would have to carry um, tissue paper around um, everywhere. We could diagnose this condition along with um, ophthalmologists and orbital surgeons. Uh, we perform fluorescein clearance tests to measure the um, drainage of the um, dye that we place on your eyes. Um, in addition, we could actually do a dacrocystography, which would uh, measure the uh, tear flow through the um, tear apparatus. Treatment of nasal lacrimal duct obstruction generally is surgical. Uh, there is no medicine to uh, relieve the obstruction because there is a functional anatomic obstruction between the tear duct and its drainage pathway. How we um, perform the uh, surgery is either endoscopic or open. At our center, uh, we perform endoscopic DCRs or dacryocystovirinostomy. This is connecting the opening um, between your eye, which is a tear duct, to the nose. Um, and this does not involve any external incisions, so you will not have any scars. The procedure is a day surgery and it takes about 45 to 90 minutes to perform. We perform it with a team of ophthalmologists and orbital surgeons as well to give expertise in both areas. In terms of recovery following a DCR procedure, patients note immediate improvement in their tearing. The tearing act continues to improve um, throughout the fall ensuing three to six weeks. Um, and a stent is placed between the tear ducts and uh, your nose. Uh, these t stents are uh, in place to improve um, the drainage and prevent scarring of the procedure we perform. The stents are in place anywhere from six weeks to three months, depending on the extent of scarring. However, the patient's tearing actually is improved even with the stent in place. And after removal, it generally improves even more so. There is no bruising after the surgery, so there's minimal recovery and pain is very much tolerable. A lot of patients could go back to work immediately, uh, although we generally advise them to take approximately a week off of work. I completed my fellowship uh, training at Mass Ioneer um, with um, Ralph Metzen, who performed orbital surgeries. Uh, we uh, performed over 100 DCRs during a span of a year, and we have developed new techniques and uh, created new devices to help with the opening of the tear sac. These uh, patients who we perform surgeries on generally have significantly improved functional and cosmetic outcomes compared to the external approaches. I work with a team of orbital surgeons to better provide a comprehensive care to excessive tearing and nasal lacrimal duct obstruction. Memorial Hermann Texas Medical Center and UT Health is a tertiary academic referral center that provides multidisciplinary care in the realms of otolaryngology, orbital surgery, and ophthalmology. We work in tandem with multiple subspecialties and provide multidisciplinary state-of-the-art care involving new technological instruments, and new researches. If you have any concerns or questions with tearing, epiphora, or nasal lacrimal duct obstruction, please feel free to come to our clinic at any time.